at least you start with some export, you know, from which cutter you are shooting all the export consignments, you start doing there. Or a primary pre-prime customers where you are doing it, you start attacking those individual equipments. And these are all little, little capexes that can be made. Like you have four or five power boilers. Suppose everything is a 60 yatta, 90 yatta, 100 yatta. Suppose you want to attack on one particular boiler. What are the issues? What is the steam coal ratio? How do we do it? Can we do some automation on coal feeding? Can we do some automation on crushing? Can we do some automation on alternate fuel metering? So these type of things, you know, it all will come in one or two or three crores of uh, little, little capexes which can be managed. What I am telling you is capex mean do not think about 1000 crore or 500 crore or 800 crore. Capex can be other than the normal normal repairs and maintenance, it can be one time high value item which can be a few tens of lakhs to one or two crores of rupees but people have to have that capability to identify those pain areas and then put the right spending, buy the right equipment and train the people for handling that and then move forward and I am sure one one problem if you start debottlenecking it and you are going to get a big gain in the long run. Actually, Mr. Santosh Shaklu, our AD Marketing, has spoken about the, the products, the product mix and the products which, uh, which were in demand and which are in demand and uh, which is going to be in future after our forecast and various markets are. I would speak more about the technology front and the, the how we are able to keep ourselves afloat in spite of, you know, uh, covery drought and uh, COVID and market slowdown and things like that. The point number one is the, the people front. The people front, you know, without compromising on the qualification of the people and the capability of the people, selecting the right people and then grooming them, getting them from the institute and then grooming them and then keeping them with you by providing proper training to them. That's the core strength of TNPL. That's why if you see many of the people who joined in TNPL as a graduate engineering training and they almost retire as a senior most level people, to that extent they are very passionate in TNPL and the company takes care of them very well. So that's a people front. And the second thing is the men and missionaries. When we talk about missionary, it's not just because of uh, you know having some fund and having some investment uh, capex allocation and doing something with a paper mission selection or paper board mission selection. It is something like uh, do a proper uh, research and a study for what is in demand, what is going to be 10, 20 years down the line, what's happening elsewhere in the developed countries and what's going to travel down within another 10 years. That's how the, all the investments have been made. When the investments are made and it is not just per se the tonnage, the volume, no? 200,000 tons per annum or something like that. What is going to be the product mix and what is going to be the water and the energy consumption per se per ton and what are going to be the furnishes or various recipes of the raw material. Because these three things are kept at the foremost uh, so topic on the table. Because we know that India, you know, it's a net fiber importer. We don't have surplus. Net fiber importer, that means we import a lot of waste paper, we import a lot of uh, hardwood and softwood pulp and PCT and big pulp. So what is more important is how we are going to manage the raw material front. Somebody was speaking in the morning also about the raw material. Because that's a basic uh, thing. And the second one is to have that raw material availability for you, what is the best technology that we should select, which will protect the environment with the lowest usage of those raw material in the natural resources. Here when I say natural resources, is the way. morning also we deliberated water, steam and power. It is very, very important. All of us, we know we have a tremendous stress on the energy cost. Globally, it's not only within the country, in Scandinavia and you know many mills, pulp mills and paper machines are shut for the high energy cost. So when we are grappling with that kind of problem, so the strategy what we adopted right from the beginning, maybe from late 80s onwards, in terms of the conservation of the natural resources, that has really helped us in selecting the right technology. The third very important point is, okay, you have talked about the product, you have selected the best technology. Then the last one is, how do you utilize the, those assets? It is the asset utilization basically. When I talk about asset utilization, from the factory point of view, many of you are from the operating side, it's only talking about the mission utilization. When I say mission utilization, it's uptime on each mission. Every manufacturing unit, let it be a small cutter, let it be a winder or rewinder or a, a big paper mission, what is that 
mission efficiency. What is the OEE of that mission? And how we are going to maintain that? That's what is more and more important. And we never talk about downtime in clean beer. We only talk about uptime. Uptime of 95, 96%, that should be the target. Many times people say downtime of 10% is high, 8% is high or something. We talk about only uptime, 95% uptime. When I say specification, it's 95% confidence level. We don't talk about tolerances. 95% confidence level, 95%, 96% of time. And those type of, you know, thinking right from the beginning, right from the conceptual stage until implementation, that has really helped us. And the latest addition, without spending much of time, I'm just saying the addition of the hardwood pulp rate. What we have, uh, we have invested almost like 1,385 crore in uh, Mondi Patti in Unit 2. We have selected the best generation 3 hardwood pulp mill from Palmet for the least uh, water consumption and the steam consumption and the power consumption by 34% with the nearest available benchmark in the industry. And we, we have talked about the Andrews uh, power boiler, uh, sorry, recovery boiler, soda recovery boiler and also we selected the best chlorine dioxide plant and right from the chipper, all the things are uh, supplied by the uh, the best uh, OEM across the globe. And this is what has really helped us sir. and we are putting our best efforts in utilizing the asset in a proper way.